global population has been expanding rapidly for many years, standing at around 7.9 billion in 2021. The rise brings a number of challenges around global sustainability, including the need for more food. Fertilizers are added to crops for bigger and faster growing in order to produce enough food. However, applying excessive amounts of fertilizers lead to the release of harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. As a solution, vertical farming, aquaponics and aeroponics techniques are recommended. Aquaponics is a combination of recirculating aquaculture, which is growing fish and other aquatic animals, and hydroponics is growing plants without soil. The fundamental workings of a vertical aquaponics begin with cycling nutrients and water between fish and plants. The fish and plants are kept in separate tanks, connected by a filtration system. Waste produced from fish flows through the filters where it becomes nitrate and then converts to nitrate. The plants then absorb the nitrate-filled water and return it as purified water. The purified water is then pumped back into the fish tank and the cycle starts over again. Meanwhile, vertical aeroponics is growing plants vertically in an environment with air or mist, not soil or water. The roots of the plants are simply tangled in the air and periodically fed by the water mist over them. The use of aeroponic systems can be seen in enclosed growing systems such as greenhouse which allows for maximum accuracy in temperature control and nutritional control. The idea to combine aeroponics with aquaponics in a big tower arises when there is a different pattern in both systems. The combination of these systems in one farm produce different types of plants throughout the year such as broccoli, leafy greens, strawberries and even sweet potatoes. Solar panels and wind turbines power pump are installed to recycle water and nutrients. To add a feel of energy conservation, rainwater harvesting can be implemented. It is considered as a sustainable, cost-effective and environmentally sound approach for food production. Once again, why vertical farming? Vertical farming allows us to achieve higher productivity in a relatively small space. Water is no longer contaminated with the remains of fertilizers or pesticides. Furthermore, it uses less water as it is recirculated and reused. Vertical farming promises a greener approach to food production. What's matter, vertical farming crops can be even be grown at home.